Good evening. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Tonight's whiskey is a lovely light PT Isla malt. I've been talking a lot about Allenson Wynn recently and the weather wasn't particularly great so I didn't go and do any filming outside this weekend. I thought what it might be fun to do is have a little look at Allenson Wynn's training routine for those people who are coming up to a fight. This is from his second book, known as Boxing, as opposed to the first book called Boxing. Uh, this one goes into significantly more detail, as you can see, it's a much bigger book than the first one, which is a tiny little volume. Brilliant book, but very small. This one's significantly bigger. The following distribution of working, feeding and sleeping during the 24 hours is suggested as suitable to the ordinary young man. Rise at 6am, drink a small glass of pure spring water, put on flannels and take a few short runs. 100 yards, two or three times and do a little skipping for say half an hour. Soon after 6.30, have a hot bath, followed by an icy cold douche or shower, and a good rub down with rough towels. Dress and get ready for breakfast at 7. Do not make a heavy meal, and eat sparingly of those things only which you find you can easily digest. Fried sole or place, mutton chops, poached eggs, a little porridge, dry toast, marmalade and wholesome fruit in season should be a sufficiently extended menu from which to select your morning food. A cup of cocoa made with boiling milk or a cup of weak tea should do for a drink. Coffee is not recommended as it's heating and is rather too strong a stimulant. Take it easy after breakfast, i.e. write your letters, smoke one pipe only and do anything in the way of light business you may have to do. At 10 o'clock Go for a good walk in flannels, varying the walking with short spells of sprinting. Return at 11 o'clock and practice sparring for an hour and a half, after which have a dry rub down with rough towels. No bath this time, and change into clean dry things and be ready at 1pm to tackle the chief meal of the day. Though it is the fashion to rather decry soups, it would appear advisable as a means of making a pleasant change to give a small plate of the most nourishing soup on alternate days. Wholesome fish, such as cod, turbot, sole, place, being provided on other days. Oysters, when in season, may also be recommended. Beef and mutton suit most men, but these should be varied by chickens and game. All rich curries or made dishes of all kinds should be studiously avoided, as well as hot sauces and pickles. Good stewed fruit with any sort of well-boiled fixing in the shape of rice, corn flour, sago or macaroni may safely be recommended when the pudding stage is reached. Do not eat much uncooked fruit and avoid all nuts. Old ale or champagne in great moderation should accompany this meal. How about whiskey? After dinner, allow a clear hour to elapse before you think of doing any exercises. And then at 3 or 3.30 p.m., get into your flannels and proceed with the serious work of the day. Skipping, Indian clubs, light dumbbells, punching the sack together with one bout of three rounds as prescribed by the rules under which you are to compete. This bout should be the hardest of the day. And after it is over, you may swing the light clubs for 20 minutes, then have a good rub down and get into your dry clothes. This will bring you to 6.30 or 7pm, when you will be quite ready for the final light repast of the day, and this should consist of the lightest and most digestible food you can get hold of. Cold minced chicken, minced beef with bread and salt, or a good plate of thoroughly well-boiled mutton broth may be recommended with safety, and after the meal, if no other drinks but water have been taken, a glass of fine old port will do no harm. At 9.30, take a short turn in the open air and get to bed at 10 o'clock for eight hours sleep, which will carry you on to six o'clock the following morning. I don't know about you, but I think that kind of typifies the type of person 
and the era that Allenson Wynn was writing in. The idea that your training camp consists of just cutting down to one pipe while you write your correspondence and having a fine glass of port with dinner. Just, I don't know, it's, it, it says something really quite appealing about the age. Anyway, I, I, I won't keep you. This is only a little uh, short video. This is the second book. Uh, large green cloth with uh, gold, em um, gold embossed on the front. Um, one of the things I like the most about this book is that the, the little gold embossed front has clearly at some stage been coloured in by a small child with a purple crayon. Um, it makes me smile every time I see it. So that's um, Allenson Wynn's training camp. Maybe it would make an interesting video to attempt to follow his training routine. Let me know. Um, if, if enough of you think it's a good idea, I'll give it a go and I'll record a vlog through the day and let you know how it goes on. Um, the running and the skipping might be tricky, but I'll give it a go, uh, gammy leg and all. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And just like everyone else on, on YouTube, I'm going to tell you right now to get the bell on. Uh, hit the little bell icon so that you get notifications when I post new videos. At the moment, we're aiming for one a week. Uh, it would be nice if I could make them a little bit more frequent than that. But I figure, let's just start with something that's achievable. Um, the next video may well be about uh, another book that I've recently picked up, which is um, its not one that I'd come across before, and it's a fantastic little book. Uh, another imaginatively titled Boxing. But this time, instead of by Alanson Wynn, this one is by J.C. Trotter. A uh, marvellous little book. Really, really very enjoyable and very typical of the same same period. So with that, I'll sign off and I'll um, I'll get back to my malt. Take care.